Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and just wanted to introduce the newest member of our colony to you here on RimWorld. Isabel popped out about, well, five hours ago <laughs> while I was busy working up over there. So that's the one event that happened that was that was worth bringing on. That and Miss P got food poisoning, so there'll be some Miss P vomit here somewhere. Right? Health? Yeah. I don't know what happened there. We've, we haven't had food poisoning in a long, long time. So, random chance and she found it. Anyway, have been working over here and yes, unfortunately, it's still there. But we've got three turrets going. Decided to put sandbags around them to help protect them a bit, though this area over here is all mud. You can see right over here as I move it around. Mud in that area. And also, came up with a couple of stall tactics. Decided to kind of wall off the obvious places for a scyther to chase us through. So it has to decide to sit there and bang on a wall to bust its way through, or go all the way around, which buys us a lot of time. Though it may just choose to go right through here. Then it's got to choose between the slower route of water or the faster route of land, which takes it further around too so either way that would help um, if things go terribly wrong and we can't get all the way back before they catch up to us I'm in the process of building a kind of a, um, a strong room over here just to dive into and stall a little bit so rabbits on his way to fill in a door right here Klaus will be on his way to fill it to actually construct these so I have a little passage in here that's got a door at both ends and with the idea that if some of our people do get trapped in there we can send somebody else out here and hopefully shoot at it and get its attention and draw it away and then our folks can dive out the bottom and so trying to come up with you know redundant plans and fallbacks and we'll see how this goes otherwise I reworked the conduit here to finally be what I was kind of wanting it to be right there I had the switch right here and got to thinking if something happened to that battery, our solar power generator still would have not been able to power these guys because the battery would have taken out the conduit and that would have ended it there too. So now we're teed in. So we have either battery power and or solar power flowing through the switch and powering these guys. Otherwise, what else is there to think about here? I think we're just about ready, except that one of our sharpshooters, Handy, who has the fastest run speed, uh, well, 6.2 right now. She was she was 7.77 a while ago. Now she's 6.2. I don't know what is with the uh, uh, the variations in that. Um, hmm. Okay. Thought just hit me. Does it depend on where they are at the moment? Is she? on rough marble at 93% of her maximum run speed, which might be the six point whatever. I don't know. If she was in mud, would that suddenly drop down to four point something? I hadn't thought about that. Is that their capable run speed or the run speed that they're at at the very moment that you click on it? I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, let's do a bit of a roll call and tell you what's been going on so we can get started. Tomislav, you are... What are you doing? Oh, I had another inspiration. The ones that were not up there working, which was Handy and Cathra through the night, with Missa P tapping away on steel all night long over here. And we finished this whole thing with, what would you say there, 35, 50, 70, 80 steel left over. So we managed to get all of this done, except for the one load that Cathra hauled up with her from just what the uh, the mining got got done over here with uh, Shantigo and Alicia and then Mississippi finishing it off. So that worked. Most of our supplies came from right here. All the wood came from just knocking out trees. In fact, we can cancel that one. And one thing we really hauled up here was the, uh, uh, the stone that Rabbit's bringing up. So he supplied the stone to all these. Otherwise, the components came from up here. We were able to do it pretty much uh, just from, from local supplies. So the, the distance didn't hurt us as bad as I thought it would. And that was good. Um, anyway, because, let's see here. Tomislav is, I, that's right, that's where I was. I had him and others 
uh, Natalia was helping and Kat and Sangria was helping quickly build these wooden shelves. And now I've got Sangria set to haul all of the revolvers and pistols over to here so that when we get back with our sniper rifles, we can drop them off and swap out for revolvers and jump back in and start shooting, if it works out that way. So again, backup plans to backup plans to backup plans. So Tomislav is, he's pretty much done with enough of these to get the job done, so I had him haul wood over to these two deadfall traps, just in case they actually get that far in. I don't know what's coming at us, we'll see. Um... Scythers, I looked up on the wiki, they travel at 6.6, .6 and we've still got Handy Health with the Fibrous Mechanitis, we've got Rabbit with it, and we've got Klaus with it, and I was, interesting, that's a different shade of, of intensity than Klaus's, Klaus just got his treatment, Shantigo doesn't need one, Rabbit's gonna need one in a while, and so with Handy, but Klaus was more recent, it is brighter, ah, I had this, another little thing I hadn't noticed before. Klaus, I was really debating whether to let him have his latest treatment, which was four hours ago. I thought about just holding off and not letting him be treated. What I'm worried about is, you know, the scythe is running at 6.6. .6. We are running at 6.6 .6 also because we've got the fibers mechanitis. If that treatment had cured him, he'd be running at 4.5. And he would be scyther toast. Suck their bait. So I went ahead and rolled the dice and let him have his treatment and it didn't end it for him. I'm still curious as to why um, Chantigo and Michael both have finished off their disease when the other ones haven't. That's interesting. I don't get the sense that there is a, a degree of this like there was with the flu minor. Well, we have mild pain. Is that it would have been major pain if it was if we got a really bad case of it. I don't know. Anyway, so I don't know why they the two of them finished before the four. But Tomislav is bringing wood in. Handy is on her way back from a night of all kinds of construction. So she did most of the building up here. And Rabbit, you have been hauling stone to get this safe room done. Shantigo is set to reload all of his uh, cook stove area and then swap out his revolver for that charge rifle there. And then probably if he's still got, yep, he'll grab a meal soon, right? Is there a meal in there? There isn't. Okay, so when you're done with that, you're going to grab a meal. Okay, then you should be ready to man the gauntlet. Kind of be ready for whatever we're going to haul back this direction. Klaus is up here with his, his uh, second best... Um, construction skills under handy to do the construction up in here. Rabbit's been doing the hauling and he can still... construction of eight. Oh, he's just... wait a minute, is he as good as Klaus now? Did he catch up? I just Klaus. Um, Rabbit, there you are. Construction four. Yeah, that's what I thought. So Klaus will be doing most of the work up in there, kind of taking Handy's place now that her shift is over. I'm going to give her um, needs maybe a half of bar of rest and then get her back up here by that time Klaus will be down by half a bar and did he grab a meal by chance? He didn't. Hmm. Now we'll see how that works. And Rabbit, you did not either. If I don't let them go to do their own thing, they never get the order to go grab a meal and put it in inventory. But his needs, he will be getting toward the end of his rest by the time the other two are ready. It's going to be hard to line us all up just right because the fibrous mechanitis has really messed up all of our, our sleep schedules. But I'm hoping about that timing we'll get up here and we'll pop this thing and we'll see what comes out of it. Before this gets goes from low to medium and triggers a whole new set of events and whatever else is going to happen. I see our fire has gradually moved around over here, probably on its way to throwing sparks into this area now. It's interesting how we've got um, right there thick snow in this area. We've got a thin snow over there. There's a dusting of snow there, but where there's fire it's all melted. Just mud. And brightly lit. So, where did we get to? Klaus. So, Sangria. Did I get to you? Um, I've had you 
double click there. Where are you again? You're right there. I've had you hauling the hay out and filling up the barn. So we've got quite a bit of hay in here. Kibble is at 75. We could use one more round of kibble. Over here we're at 59. Yeah, we can do one more round of kibble. Um, you make sure that nobody else has been set to do that. Kathra is on her way into rest and does not need a meal. Natalia has, is just about, just about ready to go to bed. So she's got her uh, uh, sleep during the day schedule along with Miss P. And I did have her up here just, where am I at, hauling the wood into this area rather than build it. So I, did, I was able to get her to do some things, but otherwise she spent most of her time just racing through research trying to get his tortoise assault rifles as soon as possible. Michael, you are just finishing your rest. Okay. So when that happens, I'll get a meal into you, and I'm not sure what to do other than just have you ready to man the gauntlet with Shantico. Miss P has spent her night mining. She's getting ready to hit her natural go-to-sleep time, got her some food. So she's going to be making kibble. That's right. So she's going to make the next round of kibble in there. And Alicia just got up not long ago, so I put her to uh, uh, set her a task of just getting all of the torches functioning in here so that when this is all over we can get to work mining more of this out so that's roll call that's what everyone's been doing um any reason why we can't just let this go you guys coming in rabbit you're going to at your four i'm worried you're going to fail that one i think that's why you've made two trips already up here i'm going to cancel your working on that so sewing area you've got a decent run speed is there anything else i can do with you right now let's have you haul in these components we don't need them anymore and that puts you through there okay if i catch you in time i'll stop you here and have you haul these components too but that's the last of the components that are sitting outside right we did these two then we did two that were inside here okay so ship parts are accounted for good Anything else to do with you? There's nothing else to haul up here. Nothing else that's needed. No, I don't think so. Turn you back on. Klaus will be running in there to do the construction soon. You're down in here, okay? So you guys are heading in, and Sangra's doing the hauling of the, of the hay. Um, Miss P is going to get hay grass to make her kibble from, okay? Shantico is loading up his... Uh, his workstation over here so he can get some more meals made and just be available for uh, when that's going to happen. Michael, you snuck away from me. I wanted you to get a meal. Well, I guess you're good for a little while. Well, no, I'm not going to risk that. Right when, I, right when I need you is when you'd be crashing from lack of food. So, Michael, go ahead and consume a meal first. Then what? Let's think about this. The two batteries up there, if they survive could come back and fill in these spaces here. I could have you, though, haul steel into here. Get the second uh, battery bank filled. Could do that. Any other thing that's more important, though? Alicia's building these. Let's see how successful she is. Her construction is what? Three. Okay. With a passion. And you are now... Well, I'd like you to haul that, but actually that'll be the next stone that Michael just uh, chisels up. You are digging up marble. No, you're... Okay. There you are. To a door blueprint? Wouldn't have assigned you to a door blueprint, but you probably just... Uh, uh, you're doing like a torch and the door with it because the wood will... Yeah, probably right in here in a door or something like that. Okay. That makes sense. In here, we're busy having meals, saying hi's, and he's going to bed. And let's take one quick look at health. Tomislav, you no longer have any diseases. We've got Handy with hopefully the last round of Fibers Mechanitis. We've got Rabbit, uh, immunity of the flu. He's got 34% left, and he'll be fine. And then over here, Klaus still has the fibrous mechanitis, and the flu is down to 34% also. We've got Sangria down to 33%. Kathra down to 35%. Everyone's got immunity. Uh, Natalia down to 36%. 
and Mississippi with food poisoning. So she's only got 50% consciousness right now. So I assume that means that moving is very slow. Consciousness poor, manipulation, talking, eating are all poor. Pain a little. Okay. She's feeling a little woozy right now. Let's put it that way. And then Alicia, and that is the end. Yes. Okay. So that's good. Now, Thomas Slav, you actually built it. Okay. Rabbit, you're heading that way. Thomas Slav is not a wooden floor or a rack. There you are. You're playing horseshoes, and you are done completely. All right. We'll do that. Your needs, you're fine. So you're ready to also man the gauntlet when this thing happens. Okay, what's happening over here? Let's get this safe room built, and that's probably our trigger to go ahead and get it going. I lost Rabbit already, didn't I? There's a rabbit right there. Yeah, he, he ran through there so fast, hoping I wouldn't remember to have him haul these in too. <laughs> so our circuit is up and running. We are charging. Slowly, but we're charging. 646, 647. Okay. Um, they're identical. Okay. These guys are off. Yep, fire has spread up into the corner. All right. Then... Sangria is hauling parts. Okay. And just to make sure, hauling uh, uh, guns. And make sure that she always chooses to take the pathway not through traps. Okay. Working out good. All right. Um, in here now. 66, 130. Um, Miss P is delivering. And you need a rest. How about I let you just get past the water? Rabbit is going for a walk. I'll stop him in a second as soon as Miss B gets out of the water. Right there. All right, Miss B, cancel that. Needs, your food's fine. Go to sleep. Sangria is hauling out a pistol. Rabbit just started going crazy with his running speed, so he went from taking a walk to uh, plowing through here. You want to do that, but I really want all of these hauled in. How about I have you do that instead? And these will be here. They'll be fine. They'll be waiting for you. Do that. No place for cloth. Ooh. Okay. And But they're not actually falling apart out here. No, they're fine. They're under a roof and, and they're okay. So after that then, haul another load of this. Okay. With that, he can haul, I think, 75 medicine. There's not 75 in there, so I think he can get it all at once. All right. So when this gets started... We need to send the animals in. We need to turn on the turrets. Let's try to remember that. Shantigo is digging up marble. What? We don't have meals done yet. We're out of meat. Okay. Then, and this was assigned to um, Miss P. So Shantigo, let's try this instead. Why don't you concentrate on butchering? Okay, so you'll make meat, then you will... We have plenty of supplies here. What am I missing here? 23. Shantigo. Right there. Um, bills. Why did you not automatically make meals? Cook fine meals. We need 50 of them. That was really weird. Okay. Um, try that again. Shantigo. And... Cook at the fuel stove. Let's cancel all that. Try that again. And right there. Cooking at fuel stove. Okay. That's odd. Don't know what to make of that. Why? He, that wouldn't have been an automatic uh, calculation of the game. Hey, Klaus, how you doing? Ooh, you finished up there and you're down here. Work left, 21. Handy, how you doing? Needs. Ah, need to get you just a little bit further. Right about the, the equal point for, for Klaus here. In fact, maybe we'll send him to go get a meal. Then you guys can come up together. That sounds good. So Klaus, come down grab a meal. Um, right there. And Handy, your food is fine. Rabbit, you could use a meal. Uh, you could use a sleep too. Boy, how am I going to deal with that? I think Rabbit's just going to do sniping, and then he's going to go straight to bed and miss out the rest of it. We'll see how that works. As Klaus gets near... Rabbit, you're where right now, by the way? You're dropping off lots of hay. Good. 
So who could do kibble then? Michael, you were... Actually, I sent you to bring materials over here, and you got one of them actually made. Okay. I may cancel these two and drop the other two batteries back in there if they survive. But you are over here wanting to do that. I'm going to have you instead make kibble. You can do that. We need another round or two to deliver. In fact, I need to deliver this. That's right. Who's nearby that can deliver? Rabbit, you actually could. Why don't you haul this one in? There's only 18. They've been eating it right here, haven't they? <laughs> Probably. Okay, you're going to get that one hauled. Klaus, you're coming in for a meal. Rabbit, you are next coming in for a meal. And then Handy, Health, or Needs, you're about there. Okay, as soon as Klaus eats, Wild Boar is pregnant. Okay, and Rabbit eats, then the three of you are going up. And I'm curious... Oh, he, Klaus grabbed a meal. Okay, good. Then you are building a roof. Where? Oh. It's not considered a room. Speaking of roof, Alicia wrote in and suggested that we get a roof over these batteries. I'd forgotten all about that. I was thinking, you know, temporary. I don't worry about that. But there's a fire. Sometimes fires trigger rain in Rimworld. So that was a good call. So I quickly built a wooden post right there and then popped a two by one roof over each one but Klaus I just need you to kind of hang around and or I guess I can get you in position now yeah I probably could um handy yeah I can get you going too it's just rabbit that'll be lagging behind um so Klaus you have a sniper rifle you're now running at 7.13 handy you have a sniper rifle you're running at 7.77 so you can be the closest because you'll have the best chance of getting away. Rabbit, you, before your meal, are running a 7.13. Interesting. So I wish I understood why the, the, you know, the difference is. Anyway, Klaus, where are you going? You are probably going to be, like, there. You do that. That should be just about the extreme of our distance here. Um, where else? This is all very close. Now, I don't, I can't guarantee that I'm going to get a line of sight through that. That's all deep water. That's no good. You put them right here to get as far away as possible. You still have to go very slow up through this to get out of here. I could put somebody... Boy. hate to put them all in the same place. I could put somebody right there. And Handy with the best construction skill is probably the one. If anything goes wrong over here, I'd want her to be able to quickly repair. Though I don't know how quickly quickly is. There, We still have components in here. We still have steel there and steel there. Okay, so Handy, you... Let's see here. Um, needs. You're good. I need you draft. There. That gives you cover of the wall, cover of the trees. We'll see what you can do. Rabbit, you are grabbing a meal. So we'll get that one done. Shantigo went where? You're still digging up marble. Okay, did I change your work schedule? I might have done that. I did do that. Oh, my fault. Right there. I did that to get you to stay up there to do your mining yesterday. That's right. Okay, Shantigo. And do that. And you go ahead and do what you want to do. Um, I'm not going to bring animals in yet. I'll do that just as I start sniping. So, really, we're waiting on Rabbit now. Right? Michael's making more of the kibble. That's good. And that's being brought up in there. How much kibble's here? 75. Good. So that's timed out just right, and the rain just began. All right. Good call on the on the, the roofs over the batteries. And he grabbed a meal. Yeah, that would have been horrible. Right now, the batteries would have just exploded. Though, we would have lost the batteries. But the assuming that the damage didn't take out the wires, the conduits, we could have still run off of the uh, solar panels. I think. 
their diminished output right now because of the rain. It's not bright sun. Anyway, right, uh, rabbit needs horrible. Oh boy. I gotta have you though, even if you tank completely. We're gonna have to trust that the 20 plus for the wedding and the 12 for the low expectations and the tier, tons of joy 10 are gonna offset the uh, exhaustion negative 24 or whatever it's gonna be and still hold us right at the edge as we do this. Okay, Rabbit, you're drafted. You are making the long run to where? Klaus is there, and he's there. No, Klaus is yeah, right there. Could put him there. That's a little bit too iffy on, on an accidental headshot. Um, this one gets you right through the door easy. This one's got a bit of a run, but through a door easy enough. I don't know where else to go. It looks like we're going to have two of them in one spot. Oh, that's right. Something else I came up with. I was just thinking, you know, we're at the furthest away. That means we're going to be the least accurate. Remember, I was, I was talking about that last episode. That, you know, these guys have got a long radius. I could take them out to the very edge of the radius. Which, you know, just have this right here. So that we can still hit the ship. But, um... Would that make it less accurate? Turns out, it does. I just glanced at that while I was at the the Rim World wiki, and there is a graph that you can look at that shows the greater the distance, every five further away, the distance drops or the accuracy drops off. So it is more accurate right here than it is right there, which is what it should be. But I see here an accuracy. Well, I don't. But in a weapon, for instance. Right here, uh, gear and assault rifle, and there we just have a generic accuracy. Well, okay, I guess we do have a drop off as we go. I guess that does show it. Okay, so the the turrets will be the same way. They will drop off all the way to 20% accuracy by the time you get out to the edge right there. We're at about a 25% accuracy here. So it, it never was truly accurate. Maybe you can be right here and still it's only 50 or 60 percent. So these are just kind of like a machine gun. They just kind of blast bullets out in that direction somewhere. So there is a diminishing accuracy the further you go away from the source, as there should be. I just wanted that verified. And so where I place them is probably the best that we could do. Still have a little bit better accuracy, but still be far enough away where they've got a chance to get at least a few more shots out of them before it, it all goes away. Okay, so with that, where was I? I was rabbit. I was saying, where are you going? Okay, because I was thinking I could have them all over here, which is right at the end of their, their run of... of distance, but that is also the least accurate place to put them. Klaus has the greatest skill. I'm going to leave him there. Rabbit, I'm going to put you... Boy, right where this tree is. What do I do with that? I guess I put you, like, there. I don't think... Well, I'm going to go a little further, right there. There? I can put you there. You still cover up the trees on both sides of you. I'm right in front of you and I'm right above you. I think that counts as pretty darn good coverage. Just like right here. The wall this side, the tree on that side. Okay, we're going to go with that. Okay. So, with that, they're on their way. Kibble 71. Michael's making another delivery. Boom, boom. we got plenty of kibble. we got plenty of hay. We've got plenty of kibble. Animals. Everybody into the dog safe zones, which is not there. Pause. That's why that room's been getting so messy. Architect zone, take away dog safe zone from here. I didn't mean for that to go in there. All right, you're just in here, guys. There or, and boy, that's going to be crowded, or um, lost you here, right there, that hallway right there. You know, well, do I include a little bit of the freezer for when they run out of kibble and we we have a problem that goes a whole lot longer than I ever dreamed it would? Maybe we should. There, 
there just the pathway in and then maybe something like that okay we'll do that so we'll just add a little bit to that not much I can do to help this out we just have to try to always have hay in there okay so that's going on we need to trigger this guy and is there anything else we need to be doing down here all the revolvers and pistols are in place so we've got weapons to swap out we'll fine-tune that later for for future battles but uh, we've got I'm still lost Shantigo what are you doing now you're cleaning dirt because we no we well we do have enough meat for one more meal but you're not choosing to make it we've got five sip eight and we need five well in that case well I, okay I'm gonna look at this again Shantigo John Tigo, there you are. You're going to cook. And then you're going to clean. But cooking is butchering. No, Michael has had control of the butchering butchering table so to make kibble. And so Shantigo couldn't. That explains it. You are now going to take over that one. Alright. Whew. Solve that one. Some of these little things. It's almost always a reason. There is almost always. There's only been a few that... I've scratched my head and I could not come up with a reason, but almost always there is some other thing involved that's making the calculations go differently. Um, Alicia, you are tapping away down here. Your shooting skill was, well, decent. I mean, enough. It's not a zero or a one. Okay, so I will be using you in this. You've got a revolver, but otherwise... Let's have you try to work on this one one more time. Where'd it go? There's a torch in there. There it is. Why don't you work on get, go, getting that one lit up? And by the time that's done, or when that's done, then maybe tap away at this one. We'll get a light in the middle of that space afterward. Okay, then. Anybody else down here that needs to be doing something while we're up there doing that? I don't think so. Sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Rabbits to worry someone as far as sleep goes. Otherwise, we're getting into position. Uh, need to flick this switch. I'm wait till Handy gets there. Somebody down below gets the order. Do that, Handy. Do that, and draft, and go here. Nobody should get the order to do any shooting. You got power, right? You got power. Until Rabbit gets in place. Klaus is there. Klaus is range is right there. Now, our main goal is to take out that ship. Once the ship is gone, we can leave and the mechs are gonna, well, they're not gonna follow us till they get rid of this threat, which is why I didn't want to put too many turrets up in here. Either we have to take all, out all the mechs with these turrets, or these turrets are gonna continue to uh, um, aggro them until they have destroyed all of our turrets. So there's no saving these which is why I didn't want to build too many, because there's, there's a lot of steel that's going to go away that we could use in other places. Um, oh, the rain's putting out the, the fire. Good. Are we ready? These are on? These are not on. Nobody... You got the order. You're going to turn those on. Animals are set to go away. Nobody is out doing something silly like hunting or taming things. No. In fact, I don't see much on the map right now to tame. There's some ibex hanging around and some rabbits, and that's about it. Okay, well, 30-some minutes into this, so this by way of introduction, let's um, let's take out a psychic ship. <laughs> all right, then. Let's set all of you guys to fire at this. Ooh, I can't. Alpha 13, I could designate what these things were to shoot at. All the thing I have here is hold fire. Let's do just one. Right click, nothing. I can't fire at. You used to be able to choose your target with the turrets. Can't do it anymore. Ah. So the turrets are not going to shoot the ship. They're only going to shoot the, uh, the mechs. So it's up to us to take that ship down. Interesting. A little, uh, little wrench thrown into the works there. Okay, well in that case... 
You two are going to fire there. You are going to fire there. Uh, I'll just do it this way, like that. And nobody's going to do, do something silly like run out there. Nope, you're all aiming. There we go. So let's set all three of you. And are we truly ready? I think we are. I think we are. This is starting to look quite impressive. Just kind of looking at this from our, our drone view here, our satellite view. And yeah, we're starting to make some progress in there. Good to see. Ten episodes ago, starting to think we'll never get to it. All right, what's going to happen here and who's going to pop out? I feel like hitting save right now. <laughs> Boom. All right, there's a mess. Bullets flying. You guys are taking aim at this one. You don't know what's going on yet, neither do you. Who are you? You're a centipede. Let's move over here out of the noise a little bit. Make sure you guys can hear me. Say centipede. Right there. Heavy combat mechanoid. Glides on dozens of tiny legs. Centipede, right? Yeah. I started calling them caterpillars long ago, so I mix those two up. Their, their heavy armor and firepower make them very effective against bunched up static defenders. Yes. You don't want to form a, a firing squad after, uh, against these guys. They are somewhat vulnerable to mobile hit-and-run tactics. Yep, that's why I want them into my gauntlet. I want to pop out a door, shoot, pop back in. Pop out another door, shoot, pop back in. That's what I what I do with these guys. You guys move at 1.33 very slow. If we only had centipedes, then we would just you know take out the ship and then go back and go to sleep. By the next morning, they'd finally be there. That's the advantage of them. Um, you have got a Inferno Cannon. So we'll look at that one too. Um, do I need to know anything more about this other than just incredible hit points? Uh, shooting accuracy of almost 100%. Aiming time, let's see. Anything else that's super important here? I want to say there is, but I'm kind of glazing over right now. So let's... Health. We've got all kinds of rings that are going to show up. All of these body rings have all got to be individually shot at. There's lots of parts there. And you have got the Inferno Cannon. Is that the same thing as the Inferno Launcher or whatever it is? We've got Incendiary Launcher. Okay, that's different. So you, Inferno Cannon, can do... Let's see, your accuracy at our distance, where we are right now, is almost nothing. 20 and 10. Uh, your range is 27. So a little more than a, uh, right in between a charge rifle and an assault rifle. Um, you do a damage of 13 with this guy and warm up of one and a quarter seconds and a cooldown of 8.4 seconds. If we were able to harvest this weapon, we would not be using it. <laughs> so that's a long time before they're, that's what's so good about them. It takes them so long to get ready for the next shot that you have time to pop in say hello and pop back out and just keep them resetting himself over and over again. So that is one of our enemies. Who else do we have here? We've got a Scyther. Fast, spindly, human-sized combat mechanoid. They usually carry one primary ranged weapon and their bodies are adorned with two articulated blades to make them deadly in melee combat. They don't use cover. Best handled by con concentrated, overwhelming force. Okay. They can only shoot one of you at a time. So a firing squad would kind of work against them, though somebody's going down if you do that way. Um, nothing else I need to know here other than run speed of 6.6. .6. That's the scary part. Okay. Um, trainable intelligence. Intermediate. Um, <laughs> I don't see tame over here. <laughs> Okay, so their weapon, Charge Lance, same, same, Charge Lance, Accuracy, at long distance, 88%, these guys will hit almost every time, cooldown of 3.3 seconds though, once they shoot, you can get in there, shoot, and get back out, warm up a 1.5, Range of 37, so that's more than an assault rifle. So it's right in between an assault rifle and a sniper. And 
Damage of 27. Okay. That's who we're up against. They will concentrate on the closest enemy. Right now it's this ring of fire coming out of here. Then they will head into Rabbit and Handy next. We'll pop in that door. Given Klaus a chance for one more shot, then he'll pop in that door. That's the plan. Let's let it go. So you are aiming. You're heading into here. You are aiming at this one. You are not aiming yet. Okay. Your range was what now? Gear? You have a much smaller range. Range of 27. You can still reach those guys. Okay. Because your range is not going to tell me. It's a secret. Okay. We'll just have to make a guess on what that is. All right. So we are aiming at this guy. We're down to 87% already. Good. Still a low psychic drone level. All right. Let's grab you guys. Watch your shots coming off and see what's going to happen here. Oh, oh, thank you. He's not very accurate. Remember? 10%, 20%. He's trying to shoot this guy and he hit him. He's going to be on our side. In fact, we just took out a Scyther. No, he's on top of him. He's right there. Okay. He moved into his place so that he can reach this one. Okay. I'm watching to see if any of these guys are going to aim at us. Okay. We are at 67% here. <laughs> 66%. And you're damaging him, I'm betting. Health. Inferno Cannon. Thank you. We just might save these these uh, turrets after all, if with him on our side. Okay, we're at sixty percent here, and let's get our guys lined up again, and let's hit F eleven and kind of clear the clutter out of our screen a little bit, and then grab that and move to. Can I zoom in a little? I kind of can. Right there. All right. Let's sit back and watch. I've still got to notice when they change their aim. Okay, you're really helping us. Okay, that uh, turret actually made contact. This guy... He's got to be getting close. Injured. Look at all the damage he's taken so far. Um, moving very poor. Manipulation poor. Sight and hearing. So his, his accuracy has really dropped off too. Let's see if he can make contact. Ah, uh, he is. He's hitting this guy. Okay, he's just about gone. Over here. Um, health. There and there. Those, those guys are still in brand new condition. Brand new out of the box. He's down. Friendly fire. Okay. Oh, he finally made contact. And that popped up. I heard it. A fire command. We've got to cancel that or everybody's going to run up here to do this. So, clear home zone. For everything? I think so. We don't need a home zone over here at all. Um, accidentally triggering people to come running. Okay. Any other changes? This is a problem. That guy's lost. Hopefully we can get a few more shots out of him before he actually goes. Otherwise, we are still raining. Oh, that's helpful. That's really helpful. How you doing? You are 100%. You have taken some hits. Okay. Let's keep going here. Batteries are fine. All right, let's zoom in a little bit closer and F11 and highlight you guys there. All right, have fun. Waiting for that one to pop here soon. Fire's going out. Oh, really? You had to do that, huh? And our power lines are on fire now, but they're going out. Good. Keep going. The ship is basically gone. You're going down. They're still not going to leave until these two are, these two threats are gone. So even though we take him out, we'll see what happens when he gets to zero. We're basically there now. Next hit. Okay. We're down. Are you guys going to recalculate now? Do we need to make a run out of here? Nope. You're still going after the turrets. Which the rain just put out. You have recalculated. Are you going for rabbit? Okay, how do we find out? Your range was 27? Um, gear, Inferno, Cannon, 27. How to find out where 27 is on a diagonal? 
that's the catch. I can go 27 get back into there. I'm trying to think of who it was that uh, gave me the idea. I don't remember now. Was it Quiet Mirth? I don't know. I'll pop up the name if it wasn't. Said, grab the planning tool and go out the length of the of the sniper rifle and you'll see what your range is. Which is an interesting way of doing it, only I can't do it diagonal. So how does it calculate diagonal? Is it the same? I mean, I can picture a radius, you know, a, a circle. So if I go 27 by 27, let's zoom out a little. 27 by 27, and then picture an arc through that. That still puts him basically at here. So we're still safe as far as these guys go. But that's if that's the way the game is calculating that. Okay, so you guys have got free will now. You, you've got no orders assigned to who you're going to shoot. So you guys just... Hmm... Who do we want to shoot? I guess that's a better way of looking at it. You guys, take him out. Klaus, can you reach him? You cannot. Can you reach him? You can, and you're doing that already. Okay. Let's do that then. Now, when they hit him, will he come running at them? Well, we're going to find out right now, aren't we? Okay, you just realigned this one. Darn it, we're going to take damage on all of them. And you are coming in really close. Yeah. You had a longer range. Scyther, gear, lance, 37. We're in range of that one now, aren't we? And that's accurate. So, zone, actually orders, plan, 37. If this tactic works, then an arc through there is right about rabbit and handy. From the northeast corner to the southwest corner, make a nice sweeping arc through there. It intersects handy and rabbit. Okay, where is that going? Is it going there? Or is it going there? It's going there. Alright, so he's still going after the closest target. Does it say who's going after? Just watching for targets. Yeah, it doesn't really fill you in. Okay. Too bad I can't be specific, like, you know, Star Trek. Uh, you know, target their target their shields, or target their uh, their, their weapons. <laughs> target that lance. Alright, so we're still up and running here. Did that hit over there? What is that thing? No, that's not. Oh, oh, big noise. Okay. We're still safe over here. The rabbit was about to to pass out from exhaustion, wasn't he? How you doing, rabbit? It's been a whole day. How are you doing? Very tired, negative 12. I think you could still get Actually, does that do anything to your run speed? Yeah, you're okay. Um, handy your run speed right now. 7.128. And then Klaus, your run speed right now. 6.68. We're all still there. This guy, has he been damaged? What is his run speed? 1.52. We're fine. He's been... What kind of damage has he taken? His left arm and his right leg. Hmm. I don't think of these things as having arms and legs. Okay, then he's down. Well, it's still raining. It could still keep putting out the, the fires on the turrets. But this guy will... There he goes. This guy will take damage forever. But with that... Hmm... His range was 27. That's an assault rifle. Let's stop a moment. Tomislav's got an assault rifle. Your needs, you're getting there, but you're maxed out. You can't get a better mood than that. Tomislav, come give us a hand. Race up here at your measly little 4.57. <laughs> and go here. Who else had the assault rifle? Got to think about that. Shantigo, no. Let's race through this way. Assault rifle. 
right there. That's Michael. Michael, you needs. You're fine. Yeah, run up here as well. So, Michael, you come up this way. We can stay out of this guy's range, and we can outrun it, and we can outshoot it. So, you head up in here as well. You're going to be their relief. Rather than waiting for, you know, two episodes from now when this finally makes its way down to the gauntlet. He's starting to move. Why? Does it no longer deem this a threat? Three of 100. We are pretty much done up here. It's about to pop. Oh, oh. He reset him. He's, oh, oh, really? Oh, I'm going to take you down. Boom. He missed. Ha, 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 ha. Get a few more rounds out of it. Boy, if I get there, repair that thing. No, it's gone. Now he's going to come after us. He just grunted. You're aiming at what? We're not in your range. I don't believe we are. But you just turned and aimed at us. You're moving. You're moving. You're coming in closer, and there'll still be time to run out of there once you stop moving. Theoretically. What if we could just take you down right now? Right now. Yeah! Woohoo! We did it. We didn't save our turrets, but we did it. Alright. You guys. Well, I want to just release you, but actually I want you all three to go get a meal. Um, right, Rabbit? Nah, you go get a rest. Handy, you go get a meal. Right there, grab that. And, let's see, Klaus. You go rest. Okay. Otherwise, Shantigo, no, it was Michael, you're on your way, and Tomasov, you're on your way. You guys can come up here and just kind of clean things up. Finish off things. Which means what? Health. Modifications. Add bill. We can shut down the centipede. Not much more we can do other than take them over to the machining table and destroy them, you know, for parts. In fact, let's just get that one set while we're talking about it so it doesn't go three or four episodes from now to remember it. Add a bill. Disassemble mechanoids, take you to the top, and do you forever. That's your top bill on your machining table. So, do forever. And just drop on floor. Don't need to do anything with the parts. Someone else can do that. Okay, that's that. Don't know who will be assigned to that. Whoever's on crafting, I'm guessing. No, there's a machining. That's right. There's a smithing. Got to think about getting that into the into the system. Was it Natalia? Actually, Handy's is going to be the best at it, but Natalia could probably dive into that and give her a, a backup job. Anyway, that's what you do with those. These guys, you are downed. Health. Modifications. Overview. Okay. Modifications. Add bill. We can remove part. Right blade. Can we haul it, though, first? Don't know if it'll happen right here or if it will be taken to do that. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it right here. Because he's not haulable while he's alive, I'm pretty sure. The other one is right there. Scyther. Bill. Remove part. Right blade. If we don't use these blades, we can at least sell them for quite a bit. Um, we'll, we'll take a look at the specs when we get it off and, and decide what we want to do with it. Um, otherwise, shut him down. And there we go. Where are we? 54 minutes. Let's go ahead and get the other two up here to do that. And otherwise, start disassembling. You, unfortunately, I have to deconstruct. Uh, you can be reinstalled. So let's... How far are they? They're still... They've still got some, some distance to travel. Okay. So I say pause and animals. Get you guys back. So dogs are unrestricted to there. Wild boars and everyone else goes into a pack of grazing zone. Okay, so that's done. And I wanted to... You cancel. You cancel. Okay. And then I want this battery. Actually, I... Yeah, I don't need to worry about that. You guys are going to go over here. You're still drafted, though. Let's think about that. Tomasov, undraft and... 
do that. And that doesn't require any kind of a skill, right? Michael. Hmm. Can't I make you do that? Is it haul? Is it a hauling skill or anything like that? Already crafting scyther. Interesting. Crafting. No. Oh, crafting. So it's a crafting skill. And he was set to block cut. That's what happened there. So taking these part is crafting because smithing is part of the crafting trade. That's right. Okay, that all makes sense. Now, what was I doing? I wanted to grab you and tell you to be reinstalled over here. We borrowed our battery and let's put it back right there. And the other one... Um, how can I get there? Tomislav, there we go. You reinstall. Right there. Get that right? Battery blueprint, battery blueprint, great. So those are done. They've all headed into bed. You guys are going to tear these down and haul them in. Let's watch this happen. Michael, you're nearby? Yeah. Gonna take a while though. So crafting skill, I'm assuming, is at play here, right? Character, crafting, four. Michael, crafting, cr no, 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 Michael, there you are. Crafting, three. You're both gonna, gonna take quite a while at this. Okay. Otherwise, nothing else here will rot. Anything that would rot or go bad, well, this rabbit could do that. Um, who could do that? Kathra? Needs? You're up and running again. Why don't you come get this for me? Do that. And then... Okay, you're done there. Does this need... Health? Add bill? Shut down. Okay. Tomislav says, I'm out of here. You can do that one. Michael will do the rest of them. Since he, he enjoys crafting. Hopefully it's not going to take as long. And then... Scyther. Is that done yet? That's the one we're actually working on. So, Tom Saw, if you're going in, you're going to haul this with you. This one, unforbid. You guys, unforbid. We got 140 silver out of that. Why? Why would they have been hauling silver? Oh, that came out of the ship, didn't it? That's right. So, is there an AI core hiding underneath this? Don't know. Michael's going to grab a meal. And then we're going to Scyther and Modification, Add Bill, and Shut Down. And somewhere in here, can't see it underneath this, Michael is going to rest. Because we're all getting the trigger to do that. Okay. You're going to do that, which is the... Oh, you moved that one. Good. There it is. You're going to do that one. What are you doing now? Mechanoid. Wish I knew which one. Okay, whichever one it wasn't, that's what you're going to do next. That one. And I'm going to have you actually haul this body so I can look underneath it. So, you, unforbid, Michael does not haul. <laughs> can I do anything else with it? Um, cannot bury, cannot haul. If I had you run the... Machining bench, would you pick that up? Just like telling them to butcher and they'll go find the, the closest animal to butcher. Almost. Okay. I'm going to drop that. And then we're going to try that. No, we're not. We're going to tell you to go back over here. And then that will be the closest one now. And then we're going to tell you to do this. There's little tricks to try to get them to do what they don't want to do. Right there. Ah, uh, Michael. There you are. We haul that. Thank you. What's under it? Where's our AI Persona core? Where's our computer? The psychic ones have the computer. Do we blow it up? Hmm. Well, that's too bad. Michael, instead of doing that, you are going to clear that and you're going to... You don't haul. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay then about the best thing I can do right now is just to get you to uh, go ahead and get back into machining. There. You'll get it down there that way. Who's coming up this way? 
Tomislav's on his way back down. Catherine's on her way up to do that hair. And you, unforbid. You, steal, unforbid. No other animals bit the dust over here. No. Okay. Then with that, I guess we're kind of done. Oh, you're going for that one instead of this one. Okay, whatever. Are we done? I think we are. Animals are out. Turrets need to go off. The other one doesn't exist anymore. And we're finished. So, that's a wrap. And a successful one at that. Still didn't get to really test our gauntlet, but that's fine. So, it's been Noble Rambler. Leave me some comments. Tell me, let me know what you think. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.